What's up everyone, I'm Callum on Toast and in today's video I'm going to be walking you through my One Great League Obama Snow vs Cliff challenge. I chose this challenge to start off with because it was pretty straightforward, it didn't rely on any attack boosts or any stat boosts for that matter and I just went straight weatherball for the entire duration of the battle. Before I get started I want to say if you haven't seen already you should definitely check out my video on how many fast moves you can squeeze in before the Team Rocket Pokemon start attacking again. Uh, there'll be a link in the top corner here. It's going to be really important for this video so that I don't have to explain it here. The video is quite long and it might be quite difficult to follow but with these walkthrough videos uh, they'll provide all the examples for the scenarios that I explain in that video so they'll complement each other so definitely go check that out before you watch this. Uh, with that being said we're going to get straight into it now. So as I said, in this battle I just go straight weather ball. I'm going to hit the weather ball as soon as I reach it. So that will be after 5 powder snows. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You'll see there we took damage from 3 mud slaps but the 4th one we cut the animation short. So we don't take any damage from it. And then we're, we're not going to be able to cut the animation short for the next mud slaps. So we're just going to keep charging up until they reach a charge move. We're obviously going to shield this and now after every charge move we're going to hit three powder snows. One, two, three and there the mud slap animation starts again but we don't take any damage. You see obviously I'm not charging up because Grimer still has a second shield. So one, two, three. All right now that the shields are down we are going to hit the bubbles for this charge move. So again, one, two, three. And now this time we're going to undercharge the charge move. Uh, I worked out that if I hit great and then three extra bubbles, then it would allow me to hit four powder snows to faint the Grimer without taking any damage. And now we can hit three powder snows before the Electivire starts attacking. And then because Electivire has a two turn move, we can only hit two powder snows between the next few weather balls, so one, two, and then one, two. So we've run out of energy now, so we're going to take some damage from the next fast moves from Electivire, but that's fine because Electivire is using Thundershock, and as a grass type, we resist that. So we hit the next weather ball, we're going to undercharge this one to just a great. And the reason for this is because the next one we're going to undercharge fully and then we're going to be able to farm it down with powder snows. So here our bomber snow, uh, you can see the IVs in the bottom right corner, it's a very bulky bomber snow and we just about have enough health so that we can survive to let Electivire reach a charge move. And then here we're going to undercharge fully, we're not going to hit any bubbles and then we're going to be able to hit three powder snows to KO the Electivire, so one, two, three. Again with the Torterra coming in we'll hit one, two, three and then hit the charge move. And now we have quite a lot of energy and we'll be able to hit three back to back weather balls without taking any damage. So one, two, hit another weather ball. and then one, two, and hit the final weather ball, and this weather ball will KO. So that's that, it was pretty straightforward, but you'll understand that there are a lot of things I had to do to ensure that I could gain enough energy throughout the battle so that I could take no damage against the Torterra, so that I could reach, uh, allow the Electivire to reach a charge move and gain extra energy, stuff like that. So if you enjoyed today's video, you found it useful, uh, please let me know, leave a like, leave a comment and also in the comments let me know which challenges you want me to walk through next and what I'll do is I'll take all the top comments, I'll create a poll and then each week I'll have you guys vote for it, uh, for which video you want me to walk through. 
Uh, I will say though that if this video isn't well received then I won't be doing any more videos like this because uh, there's no point if you guys don't enjoy it. So if you do like it then please let me know and I'll continue to make videos like this. Uh, with that being said, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.